previously. Man! All right, you got this one. Oh, <laughs> On Progression Series Season 2. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Is that Ryo? Baby, oh, Doom no! Cow, let's go! I've lost the duel. Ride me to victory, Doom Cow! I've lost the duel! No! <laughs> There's hope! Go, 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 go! No! In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, We'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Oh my god. Last episode may have been one of the craziest episodes of the season. If you missed out, you definitely need to go back and rewatch it because that was one that I, I'm still shocked that, that that game played out the way that it did. Uh, we're in the winner's circle, ladies and gentlemen, so that is awesome. We get to spin the wheel, so let's go ahead and see what we are going to get today. There's a lot of fun stuff we got to uh, get to, but uh, of course we have to start here. And uh looks like we got a wild card super rare. Ooh, out of raw yellow mega pack, huh? There's probably some good ones in there. Let's take a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we just missed out on a decent enough pick here for our wild card. I would have loved to pick up a third copy of Dimensional Prison. It is an ultra though, and we only rolled a super, which means we can get anything super rare or below. Everything in the super slot, we already have. We did pull the Dark End Dragon at the end of the last opening, so we don't need two of that. I, like, I guess we could take it. I just don't really see that ever coming up. The rares are just garbage. There's nothing here that's really useful to us that we don't already have. And then, uh, the commons, the only thing that we don't already have a play set of now is actually Gallus the Star Beast. This is like a card that is actually kind of relevant just because it's like a decent extender. So I guess I'll just pick up another Gallus. It's not anything flashy, but it just rounds out a play set of a card that might be useful later, maybe even today. So let's go ahead and throw it over to Gage so we can tell you all about today's set, Galactic Overlord. The six Sams just weren't able to assemble together into a win. Definitely some of the closest games we've seen all season. I'm looking forward to getting back into the winner's circle this week. We are edging closer and closer to evening up the score. I cannot wait to get to that point where I finally can say I am the better duelist than Alex. The better progression series duelist in season two at least. Today we have another set that I remember super fondly. Galactic Overlord released May 8th. 2012, man. This set is a little bit lackluster. There's not honestly a lot that we're going to focus on re-rolling, but at the time, there were some pretty neat cards. Gaia Dragon was one of the first XYZs that we had that's able to stack itself on top of a 5 or a 6, essentially serving a downer magician type purpose. This guy ranks up from a 5 or a 6. Uh, normally is used to circumvent sort of restrictions. A combo back in the day was Volcasaurus. used to be able to burn, but he can't attack that turn. So you just Volcasaurus, pop a monster, stack the Gaia Dragon, and then all of a sudden, you're dealing 2600 piercing. We see the day of Hieratics, and Atum was one of the better ones, uh, requiring two level six dragons, but able to summon any dragon monster from the deck, just make it a zero zero. Pretty cool when you can summon Red MD from the deck for free with this bad boy here. We saw Dark Mist, uh, Shining Elf is another rank two. This one is a generic one that is not that great. I think we've seen it a few times in season one. Maybe we'll see it again. Some of the rares coming in, like I said, you have all the Hieratic support, which is really good. Giga Cricket is honestly not that great of a card. There's a couple for the Insector strategy that we're looking for. That's not one of them. Papal Operative was one of the better rank fours, actually integral to some OTK type strategies back in the day with Wind Up. This was a replacement for when I believe Hunter ended up getting banned. People were stable to make OTK combos through the use of Papal Operative being able to put Wind Up Rat after being summoned from the uh, the deck back into attack position to use it again. One of my favorite combos there, man. How fancy. What a poopy card, but they found a way to make it work. The Secret Rares, honestly, they don't look like they age too well. Card Cardi was a... a, a 
banger back in the day. An essential replacement for Pot of Greed, this card actually saw some interim play, uh, mostly in the plus one Fire Fist deck. Any deck that's able to play slow enough where you can last a turn by drawing to an ending your turn, hey, make it work, right? This is back in the day when we didn't have hand traps either. You were literally passing your turn after normal summoning this guy here. You couldn't even do anything with the cards. Bouncer is an incredible generic rank six. It is monster effect negation at a time where it didn't exist in XYZ monsters back then. This was the first of the kind. Sixes were a little bit more difficult into though. You would uh, only see this really in Chaos Dragon. The Hieratics really didn't take off until much later with the release of Dragon Wars, I want to say. Cards like Big Eye and Lucky Straight were not that great on release, but uh, with Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy giving us one of the best level 7 decks of all time in the form of Dragon Wars, these cards swiftly became uh, staples in those. Nice to see Big Eye has kind of retained his price from back then. The Ultra Rares? Literally nothing to talk about, man. Just Nightbeam. The Doug's Eve special, Nightbeam. And in the commons, there's a few things we should probably keep our eye out for. Uh, again, all the Hieratics come in common form, really easy to get. Uh, Insector Ladybug is a really good Insector card, better than Ant that we're playing at the moment. This is another one that just can immediately unequip itself. It'll change the levels of some monsters, but the big thing is that triggers all of our Insector effects. Just the uh, immediate way to be able to remove one of the equips. Outside of that... <sighs> I don't think there's too much, man. You got the Doom Donuts, the Nimble Manta, Butin, nothing crazy, bro. I remember this set not being that great on release, and then just uh, throughout time, too, it wasn't that great either. There's a few fringe cards that really appreciated well, like we saw, like, Big Eye, and then Lucky Straight, kind of, but for the most part, not a great core set. I am finally back in the Luzo Circle, which means I get to open the Petty Packs, three packs of Turbo Pack 7, I believe we're on? Seven, bro. We're moving almost into Astral Pack. Astral Pack, baby. I know we get a lot of really good reprints to start to come in an Astral Pack, but Turbo Pack, maybe there's something we can grab from seven. Let's bust open our three packs. Nothing. Literally nothing. That's one of the worst packs I've ever seen in my life. It somehow got worse. I have no idea. That was not good. That was really not good. I'm going to take it, I guess. All right, nobody cares about those Galactic Overlord. Please give me some bangers. I would really appreciate it. 24 packs. See what we come out with. 24 packs of Galactic Overlord coming right up. Uh, this has the potential to go one of two ways. This could either be insane because the Hieratics are actually surprisingly low rarity. Uh, we do need like a Tum and stuff, which are super. So that's like the only downside. But there are some other decent stuff in like the rare and common slot as well. Uh, or this, this opening is just going to blow. So let's see how it goes. 24 packs. Yes, the Rocket Arrow Express, the Sealed Showdown Classic. God, this card is so much fun. There's our first Hollow. At least we're actually seeing some of these this time for a core set, a uh, Zect Conversion. Unfortunately, Gage has the Insectors and we do not. So that is useless to us. I think we're almost already set on a play set of a set though. And Light Ray Diabolos is actually not a terrible card. I think we're also looking for like Light Ray Daedalus and just the other Light Ray cards in general because they just give us something else to go into. I suppose the other problem with the Hieratics is that we also need monsters to go into aside from a Tome. Like we don't have, uh, you know, Heliopolis or anything like that either. So we'd have to pull a lot for the extra deck as well. But, you know, stuff like Light Ray Greffer. I think we're good on Nebfets at this point. Sue, that's our first or second copy of that. It's shocking how much of the Hieratic archetype is actually low rarity. It's crazy. Speaking of low rarity, uh, Tefnuid is only a rare. Happy to see one of those. Again, if we're going to play Hieratics, we probably want two to three of it, but it's a start. All right, I'm looking for mainly just the uh, the ladybugs. It's one of the big things I'm looking for. Light Ray, Diabolosis. A lot of these cards um, were sort of light sworn support, I want to say. They required a certain amount of lights in the graveyard, similar to Dark Arm Dragon, but the cards weren't at a Dark Arm Dragon level, they really weren't that great. They also required, instead of three, I think it was like five to be able to make it work. Five or more lights in your graveyard, and it only targets a set card? Ugh. Wow. Ultra Shark Drake. I don't have much to say about it. We'll take it. Ooh, a super rare, the Jumbo Drill. It is what it is. Still looking for the Insector Ladybugs in particular. Whatever, we'll take a couple hollows here and there. I don't mind. <laughs> we'll take a couple hollows. I don't mind. Force Focus. Force Focus isn't good. I, it's not good. Detach one, target level five or higher, negate its effects until the end of the turn. Only until the end of the turn. They couldn't even give it until the end of time. <laughs> what a shame. There's Photon Papal Operative coming in. I already spoke a little bit about the praises of this card. Ended up having some neat combos with uh, Wind Up Rat in particular. It's a lot of Hieratic monsters in that one there. I've still not seen a Ladybug. Where are they at? Where's the Ladybug? There's one of them. Insector Ladybug. Love to see it. And there's Hieratic Seal of Convocation. Again, a, a, a rare Rota for the archetype. Just insane. We haven't gotten any other hollows since that. That one hollow we pulled, I think, in the third or fourth pack. So, not looking too optimistic, but, you know, we're getting everything else. Okay, th this is one of the cards I was actually waiting for if we aren't able to pull a full Hieratic Core. Uh, Photon Papal Operative, I think, th th as funny as this is, this is the first rank four that I have access to. Because, aside from this, all I have is Tyrus, 
Uh, the Levy Air that I stole from Gage with a Snatch Steel, and uh, the, what is it, the Giga Brilliant? I don't think I have a single rank four yet, so this is our first one, and honestly, I'll take it. Nothing else too good in that pack here. Nothing else in general, really. Tasuke Knight. We got another Pappy. That is, <laughs> that's probably better than the Tasuke Knight. Wow, Zekt Conversion, man. They just really, really want me to play those in Zectors. I don't think, similar to Armor Up or Armor Blast, whatever we got last time, uh, it is not a great card. Third Ladybug coming in hot. That's nice. And then we got the uh, another Papal Operative as if we needed it. It is what it is. Camera Clops. Look at this guy. All right, coming up on the very last few packs here. Anything big, 0% chance we reroll this. There's absolutely nothing I need in Galactic Overlord. There's absolutely nothing I'm going to pull from it anyways, right? Oh, we got another Hydratic Dragon of Suttick. That's all I got to say about it. <laughs> nothing great about it. Uh, it's Galactic Overlord, man. It is what it is. We got our, uh, the, the Ladybugs, which was the really one big thing I was looking for. Um, I guess I can't complain. Save it to the collection. Let's see what we're playing today. All right, three packs left to go. Uh, we didn't pull anything crazy. I could redo or ticket this, but my issue is that if we pull worse and, like, don't pull a Photon Papal Operative, like, that's not the end of the world if we don't get that card, but, I mean, it is possible we do pull worse, considering how the way things have been going. So, uh, let's see what we get here. Uh, wow, back-to-back, -back, uh, Ancient Dragon Fantasy. Fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of Hieratics in that pack, though, and Wattail. Last pack. Let's see if we get anything crazy. Nope, just another Light Ray Greffer. Uh, we've pretty much pulled all the Light Ray stuff. We, I Did we get one Hollow again in this entire opening? I think we got one at maybe two at most. That is so unlucky, but, you know, that's the progression series, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to lock it in. There's nothing, like, too crazy that, like... We again, we'd have to high roll this set for it to be insane. So let's just save it to the collection. I got some fun stuff planned for today, though. So let's get to building. Bringing back the bugs for some more havoc. This time we've went away with the worm sort of smoke screen strategy. It was cute when we did it at first, but I think this deck is good enough on its own that we can seal a win if we just play better. This deck looks great. I think Insector Ladybug is the big addition to this. Uh, now instead of just Insector Hornet, we have another card that will unequip itself from an Insector and be able to do something. Ladybug just boosts the level of the monster by two which doesn't really matter the big thing is like it's an immediate unequip from centipede our opponent doesn't have to have a card or we don't have to have a card that we can just pop lose some value on it from insecto hornet just to trigger these things we can now just trigger these things turn one or turn two with the additional card that actually loses us zero value pretty much going with the same exact strategy that we did last time some really cool cards have actually gone back to three to help our strategy a lot call the haunted is back to three we we're playing like limit reverse last season to be able to bring back dragonfly this is just strictly a better card uh d prisons at three and then torrential tribute has actually gone back to two for the first time in a very long time got to be a little bit weary of the torrential i end up losing a lot of games because of it but we'll keep it in mind side deck again it's not the worm strategy we're just plugging in a whole bunch of cards that work well with our insectors the effect veilers are in there black horns chaos trap holes goes in matches just in case we're all set and the extra deck without scientist it looks a little bleak i'm not gonna lie only thing we might be able to bring out is some of the uh the xyz's if we get lucky with the level modulations using cards like ladybug and stuff like that i'm not looking too deep into it if we don't make any xyz's it is what it is the insectors on their own will be able to carry enough weight hopefully we can drop the dark armed dragon yet again break some havoc it'd be nice i think this list looks solid. I don't know how Alex can beat it, to be honest. If he brings back that hero deck again, he's in some trouble. This will pick it off easy. Let's see what he's playing. Let's see if it works. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it looks like everyone's favorite field spell has made a return to the Progression Series Season 2. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insect Control, Insect Midrange. I don't exactly know what to call this deck, but it's Insects. We are bringing all of the bugs to today's duel, and this is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that this deck can do. I'm not sure if this is necessarily the best deck we could be playing, but I think any opportunity to run back Verdant Sanctuary, because it was so iconic throughout the uh, first season, uh, for reasons that you wouldn't have expected, I think it's a good opportunity to bring this up. So, let's go and do the card by card. For our monster lineup, we have three as Techapede. This is basically Baby Doomdozer, if you've never seen this card before. It just requires banishing one insect versus two, and uh, has the same mill effect as Doomdozer, but more importantly, it goes very well with Verdant Sanctuary, with especially Flying Kamakiri number one. So, if you never seen Verdant Sanctuary before. When a face of insect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, its controller can add one insect monster with the same level as the destroyed monster from their deck to their hand. So what we can theoretically do is send flying Kamakiris to their demise by crashing them into a monster that Gage has that's slightly bigger. And while we're replacing it for another copy, we're plussing off the Verdant Sanctuary, adding copies of Aztecapede to our hand. We can end on a copy of B-List Soldier, summon out one of the Aztecapedes, sack both of them off. This is basically a little uh, mini cyber value, if you will, and then 
draw two cards, have two Aztec Capetes for the following turn. There's cool stuff we can do because then we have tuners. We can start going to the Synchro package. There, there's a lot of cool stuff that this deck can do. So that's what these are here for. B-List Soldier, I already aforementioned. Gale's just a good tuner and an important tuner because it's dark, and we'll get into that in a moment. One Cross Sword Beetle. I might play more of this if I had it, but I only pulled one, unfortunately. Uh, this is just an 1800 that gives Insects Piercing, which, depending on what Gage is playing, could be relevant. I'm only on the one Doom Dozer. I have three of this, but I think if I go overboard, this can have a high likelihood to brick, especially because we're playing this and Layer Wire. I don't want that to happen too often. The three Kamakiris, one Bulb just as a tuner, and it's also an Earth. Howling Insects, just like more copies of Kamakiri, but I uh, can get any Insect with 1500 or less attack, and it doesn't have to summon an attack, so that's important. Infernity Beetle and Plague Spreader Zombie are two level two dark tuners. Uh, Infernity Beetle also is an Insect, so we can end on this from either Howling Insect or Flying Kamakiri as well. And this is going to help us make the star of our extra deck, Underground Arachnid. This requires a dark tuner and a non-tuner insect monster. I did pull one of these from the set that it was initially uh, released in, and this is great because it has the ancient gear monster effect, where when it attacks, your opponent can activate spells or traps, and also it has a relinquished effect where you can literally steal your opponent's monsters, and if Underground Arachnid were to die, it'll lose the monster in its place. Also 2400, which isn't terrible in the slightest. We're also on a Spider Spider. This card is like just like a fine one of to have. We can search it off Verdant Sanctuary if we need to, and uh, Gage is playing defensively. This will allow us to just get more value, and then we're playing three Insect Knight. This may seem sus, and you might be thinking to yourself, there's got to be something better than Insect Knight that we can be playing. Uh, Kwaki Meru Beetle is the card that would usually go in place of this card, but that was a super rare and uh, shocker. We didn't pull any. So, so unfortunately, Insect Knight is the next best card just because you want giant monsters, but it is a level four and an insect, and that does fulfill a lot of conditions, especially for Verdant Sanctuary. For the spells, we have Book, Brain Con, Dark Hole, Triple Amnesty, Pot, and Triple Verdant Sanctuary. And then we got a nice trap line of Double Bottomless, Call the Haunted, Double Deep Prison, Double Layer Wire. If you've never seen this before, you just banish an insect and you target a monster that your opponent controls, destroy the selected target. I believe uh, it targets before. Uh, I just, this hasn't had PSCT clearly. So I have to double check. I'm pretty sure you don't just banish and then you can destroy anything. I'm pretty sure you target and then it banishes, but I'll double, or destroys rather, but I'll double check. Warning, Starlight Road and Torrential. Uh, Torrential goes to two on this new ban list that we're abiding by. So I feel like Gage might want to play like this and Dark Hole and maybe some other stuff. So I kind of like the cheeky Starlight Road in here because we want to be somewhat aggressive with this deck with like hitting in and just getting a bunch of bodies stabilized. So if Gage just thinks, oh, I can Dark Hole, then we can punish him for it. The extra deck has Cataster, Armory Arm, Black Rose, Armor Master, because we are playing Gale, so that actually does allow us to make this. Brio, Magical Android, Mistworm, Naturia Beast, because we're playing a bunch of Earths, and Glow Bulb is a one, and uh, pretty much is the only Earth tuner. But you know, if we can summon Nap Beast, that's fine. And then Double Stardust, one, of course, for the road. We have the Arachnid, the Urbellum, the Levier, the Giga Brilliant, and the Papal Operative. Uh, this is kind of cool because we're banishing stuff for like Insective, uh, Aztecapede, as well as uh, Doom Dozer. So with Levier, we can actually bring the stuff back. That's kind of neat. Giga Brilliant is an insect. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Verdant Sanctuary because that's to be with levels. Uh, but Photon Papal Operative is also nice because we are playing a pretty high abundance of level fours. And then the side deck's just a bunch of good stuff. Cyber Dragons for when we know we're going second. DD Crows in case he's on any graveyard nonsense. Creature Swap is sick because we can just give him one of our uh, floater recruiter things and then we can just basically take his best card and then just go off our whole chain there. Mind Control is like another brain control, but I want to see what Gage is playing before we bring this in. Another Call of the Haunted, Triple Dust, Double Skill Drain. Our deck doesn't really care about Skill Drain all that much because we're kind of just playing a little bit of beat down. All our monsters on the field kind of were just vanillas for the most part, uh, but Skill Drain's pretty good if Gage is playing a monster heavy effect based deck and then more, you know, board wipes if we need them. So I'm excited to see how this goes again. I don't think this is the best thing I could be playing, but if we can beat Gage with Verdant Sanctuary, he is never going to live it down. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Gage, uh, are you feeling pretty galactic after this episode? You feeling like an overlord? Th this set is, uh, this is a mixed bag of a set. I'm curious what your thoughts are. It is. I don't feel like quite the overlord. Maybe if I won last week, I would. But um, <laughs> no, I remember opening this set. Like, this is one of the first sets I started to open when I came back into the game. And uh, man, looking back on it, wasn't good then. <laughs> Definitely not great now. I'll, I, I, <laughs> I, I, age too I well. said for my opening, this is going to go one of two ways. This is going to be one of those crazy opening sets where you get everything and more, or it's just going to be awful. Like, there's no in-between for it. And, like, there's, like, a couple, like, neat little things that are, like, low rarity. But aside from that, yeah, like, the core sets, it's just every... Especially now that in Prog Season 2 that we have, like, the reprint sets and stuff. Like, after coming out of raw yellow mega pack... We go to Galactic Overlord. It's like, eh. yeah. <laughs> you know what they I mean? Have, like, the Hieratics. I'm a big fan of those Hieratics. Same. I think they're cool cards, but Same. 
They didn't get become playable until like three years later. So yeah. I mean, we got some time before we'll see these cards from Galactic Overlord probably popping up in decks. And a little spoiler for next week. I'm not sure if you know this, buddy. Our next set is Battle Pack Epic Dawn. So Ooh, lots of good, good cards in there. Pack. Lots of good cards in there. So the fans have that to look forward to. Uh, but let's get into today. Shout out to patron Keenan Frenzoni. Thank you for the support. Apologies if I butchered your name. All right, buddy. This could mean everything, and apparently I'm losing. Hey, That's what it means. <laughs> winner, bro. Quick one that time. I am going to I'll guess. Take a You're guess. You're going to go second. That's what you always do. Hey, weird, weird. I will be going I second. Wonder I wonder why. I wonder why. All right. All right, Alex. Good luck, bro. Best of luck. Oh, my. What the fuck is this hand? All right, I got one for you, Gage. I'm going to set one. Mm. Set two. Mm. Set three. Mm. You can set four. Oh, man. Set five. Go ahead. What are you <laughs> Uh, nice uh, forceful sentry, idiot. Bro, that's one of these <laughs> weeks, huh? That's one of these weeks. I'll draw stand by main. Is that all right? I, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I don't have right. forceful have... sentry or trap dust shoot or any of that nonsense, so. I will start my turn. I'll just rip the band aid off so you know what I'm up to. I'm going to summon Insector. I had a feeling. I saw, what's it called? I saw the 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 ladybugs in here. I'm like, there's a chance that he's going to probably run Insectors this week. I'm just going to bottomless. Let's just get this out of here. I've got a way to dodge it. I will book a moon the centipede. Okay, sure. We'll keep him alive. You didn't draw any monsters to start. I highly doubt you're going to draw another one coming in the next <laughs> turn here. I will set one. I will set two. I will set three. Go ahead. The You're joke's moving. on you because the probability of me having any monster at all is actually quite high. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you get one? <laughs> did you get I'm one? I'm going to let you in on a secret. I did not. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by me. I wonder what's happening. I'm flip summoning the centipede. Sure. All right. I'm going to activate the centipede's effect to equip. I have no response to that. That's fine. Okay. Ladybug. Sure. New from the Galactic Overlord. Not the most fanciest Insector. Doesn't do anything at all. But the main thing is, is it's an immediate way to activate its own effect to detach. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to activate its effect to unequip it. The good thing is that it's an Insector. That's the most important yes. part. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, Pretty sure it just gains two levels. Not the big thing. The big thing is I get to trigger Centipede. Is One or two. You get to pick. What do you mean? Oh, the levels? <laughs> Gain two, man. Big money. Let's go. Hey, more man, stars, you have Tyrus and Adrius in your extra. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you have options. So, unlike me. Yeah. Is Centipede fine? Yeah, Centipede's good. You're good. Okay. Off of Insector Centipede, I will pick up Insector Dragonfly. Shocker. All right. Here's the thing, Alex. I'm a little bit petrified of a card called Torrential Tribute, which has gone to two with this list. Uh-huh. Interesting. Interesting observation you have there. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been doing a little bit of research. I'm not going to make any plays just sitting around doing nothing, though. I will normal summon the dragonfly. I'm going to think here. I'll let that go. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I will... Oh, man. I, okay. I'm, I'm shocked that worked. Uh, I, I will activate Insector Dragonfly to equip Ladybug. Sure. Cool. I will activate the Ladybug again to boost this card by two levels. Yeah, what was that you were saying that the levels don't matter, buddy? You're good. Uh, they, they matter now. I don't know if you can count. <laughs> There's a five and a five. That's I will true. trigger the Dragonfly. Sure. I will pull out another Centipede. Yeah, I know you only have one Dragonfly, so. Anything on this Centipede Summon? No, you're fine. Damn. Damn, you think this is fine. Oh, this doesn't look fine to me. Centipede effect. Sure. Uh, s Ladybug effect again. Yep. Okay, and Centipede. All good. Okay. Off a of centipede. Need to find a way to get this hornet. Well, what you have I? a centipede search that you're currently looking for. I I, I could. Uh, we'll pick it up. We'll pick up the, the hornet. Sure. All right. I'm going to take these two level fives after boosting them up with ladybug. We're going to make the only one that stays alive versus any sort of destruction. Tyrus. It's fine. Oh, I'm so shocked this is fine. <laughs> I am very scared, actually, of a dimensional prison to beat this thing, actually. Um, let's go battle phase. Sure. 16. 16 and 26. So that's, what, 4,200 damage? Blech. Uh, yeah, I'll take 16. Yeah, get, yeah, get in there with the tears. Whatever. You called it. Ah. <laughs> Man, yeah. All right. I mean, I mean, I, not much else I gotta do. That's fine. Okay. So we'll banish the Tyrus. Yep. The Keeper of the Genesis. That's fine. I'll go to main two. Sure. I will just pass. Go ahead. And I will draw. Oh, this this just keeps getting better on our end over here. I will set a, another back row. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. Stand by main. Yep. Tell you what. Let me space that fresh one you just said. I'll chain it. Uh, let's see. What we're hitting. Uh, time. Let's go for this bro. one. Yeah, there goes my own deep prison. Okay, there's your deep prison. Yeah, sure. Dumbass decision. I did that last time. It was really stupid. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go battle. I'm going to activate Insector Centipede. Sure. I think it's only until the end of the turn. No, it's actually permanent. It gets that. The ladybug? Okay. Yeah, it's permanent. Okay. 
more you know. Okay, so I'm just still going to equip the uh, the ladybug to it. Okay. Tell you what, Alex, I'm going to make it a level 7. Ooh. <laughs> got, and like, gonna... some crazy... You got big eye coming? That'd be crazy, actually. <laughs> gonna... Could you imagine? Centipede, okay? Yeah, centipede's good. Okay. Off of the centipede, I'll pick up that caliber. Sure. I know you only have one dragonfly, so... I do. Battle phase, I'll go 16. That's fine. You're level seven <laughs> centipede getting huge, in. bro. Huge. I will set a card. I'll just pass turn. So I know you have Hornet Zect Caliber in hand. It's fine. Yep. I'll draw. Oh my god. <laughs> Go. Seems about right. Seems about right. I'll draw. Sure. Stand by main. Would you like to make your centipede a level nine? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. I am going to activate. Been specifically waiting, not putting cards on the field because of this. I'm going to go centipede again. Sure. This time I'll quit from hand. Yep. Anything? Uh, thinking here. You got the sword. Uh, got one. You have several other cards I don't know about when you consider your back row. I'm going to space the hornet. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then I'll trigger centipede. Sure. Off of the centipede, I'll pick up another centipede. Sounds good. One of the few cards that can search itself. Mm -hmm. Normal. Sure. Effect. Yep. Okay, quit. <clears throat> um, I'll hornet. I'll pop your fresh one here. The, this is the one you just said last turn, right? That was the one I just set, and uh, it was a D prison. Another so one. Cool. Not bad. Uh, trigger the second centipede here. Sure. Cool. I'll pick up, uh, slowly thinning out the deck, huh? I'll just grab Hopper out of the deck. Sure. I'm going to go battle phase. Yep. 16, 16. Uh, sure. I'll take 32. Okay. Two, I will do nothing. It is your move. Go ahead. We'll draw. That is amazing. That is actually hilarious. Uh, you got it. We'll I have not seen what, <laughs> what the <laughs> what happened, bro? I did not see a single dude hit your board. Oh man. So for the record, I have twenty monsters in my deck. Uh <laughs> Sure. Did so you double check? I, I double checked because they're all there when I, I side decked. I'll let you on a secret. I drew a monster uh, as the last card last game, but uh, a little bit too late at that point to really do much. So uh, this may not come as a surprise to you. I'm going to opt to go second here. So uh, I would have never have guessed. Wow. Never. All right, Duelist. Never. Best of luck, okay? See what you got. All right, stand by into the main phase. I will start with the Goblin. I'll take a free draw. And I'll <laughs> take, take a free a thousand. thousand. Life points. I will summon Mystic Tomato. Okay. And you know what? I am going to pair it with one. I'm going to pair it with two. I'm going to pass it to you. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. Let's start with the good old greed. Yep. You got I, it, man. I need two that more. after last game. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Not bad. You have to deal with your tomato here. Tell you what, Gage. Here's what we're going to do. I like your play. Uh, we're going to mirror it a little bit. I'm going to go one, two, three of my own. Go ahead. All right, man. No problem. I'll draw. Stand by me. Yep. Let's just go battle phase. Let me get a little yeah. peek at what we're, we're working with here. This will uh, give away something, but how much it gives away is to be determined. It is Howling Insect. Mm. I've seen this card before, Alex. <laughs> you have. Um, you have, Gage, huh? I have. Yeah. You know what? Resolves. Let me, let okay. me see what you it's get Okay, it's damage steps. Insect. I hope it resolves because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else you're resolving. Tell you what, we'll go for... Oh, uh, man. How do I want to do this, actually? There's a couple things I can do here. Tell you what. I'm going to go for a card that you're probably not expecting to come off of this Howling Insect. I'm going to go for Infernity Beetle. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I gotta admit, didn't see that coming. <laughs> not the not the Infinity Beetle. Um, well, I've already gone to my battle phase, and you floated you off have. your Howlin's Insect, so I will go to main phase two. Sure. I'm just going to set up a card, and I will uh, pass it back to you, Duels, okay? Okay. Let me see what you do with your Infinity Beetle. Maybe yeah. I get absolutely throttled here. You'll but we'll see. see. You'll see. In the end phase, I'm going to space one of these. One of them? All right. What do you got? Go for this one. Okay, I will flip it, and I'll set my own Mystic Tomato. Sure. So. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I will draw. Cool. Stand by main. Um, sort of throws what I wanted to do off a bit, but can still do some stuff. So what, you got like a mind con, a little bit of brain con action in the hand? Maybe? I got some things. I got some cards. I got some stuff. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to banish my howling insect. For Aztecapede the Worm Warrior. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I mean, okay. Yeah, as Tecopede, I like that card. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to sink these off. Okay. Eventually, when Dueling Book lets me. I'm going to summon Underground Arachnid. What <laughs> the fuck is going on, Alan? Let me read, let me read this thing. <laughs> when you read this card, you're going to be like, oh, shit, this card's actually pretty sick. Your attacks your opponent can activate spells or traps until the end of the damage step. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. So it has the ancient gear text in battle, and then it's relinquished on top of that. It's relinquished on top of that? Yep. Only for face-ups. Only for face-ups. Okay. That's, it's no thousand eyes. That's eyes. pretty sick. That's pretty it's pretty sick, sick okay. right? It's pretty cool. All right, it's pretty I, cool. I gotta admit, I didn't see this coming. Let me see what the <laughs> underground arachnid can do. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to it. All right, you got another set there as well. Um, what would you set in this deck? Like another tomato, possibly? Yeah, sure. We'll go for the flying comic here, number one, since we haven't normaled yet. Yep. Uh, we'll go battle. Let's go into the what I know is the tomato. Okay. Yeah, it is the tomato. I'll get it to float. Sure. I'll just float it into another tomato. Sure. And then let's go ahead and see what the other one is here. It is a Witch of the Black Forest. I forgot this card's legal now. For me. I know you don't have <laughs> For you, one. For you. I don't guy. have one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I will I don't pick have up one. one from the deck, okay? Sure. I I don't know, man. doesn't seem like there's a better choice. I'm going to grab the Dark Arm Dragon from the deck. Sure. Second made Arachnid. I'll take your tomato. Yes, you can have it. Cool. Uh, I'll take him. I will throw a back row down, and I will pass it back. Okay, I will draw. Stand by me. Yeah, you thought you were going to be all fancy with that dark arm dragon there, I buddy. I thought this would be a lot easier, Alex. I'm not, not going <laughs> to lie. And somehow I'm getting beat down by underground arachnid. Of all you can't disrespect the arachnid. This card's really actually can. pretty that badass. That card fucking took my tomato. That's not fun. I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just normal summon Insector Centipede. Normal summon the centipede, huh? I will set a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and uh, I'm not going to attack into your Kama Curry. It's not worth it. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Uh, that's fine. I'll draw. Anything in standby. No. Nope. Oh, main. What are you setting up here? Summon Centipede. You just want to have a another Dark Engrave for Dad? That, to me, makes the most logical sense. Uh, could have Torrential back there. Should be cute. I'll bite Insect Knight. <laughs> yeah, 19. He's fine. Okay. Uh, battle. Sure. Arachnid into centipede. And I cannot respond with anything. Correct. To the end of damage step, so I'm going to take this. This is 800. Six. Or eight. Sorry. Eight. Yep. That's fine. Uh, 1419. Um, I will dimensional prison the 14 from Kamakuri. Figured you might have something like that in the back row. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take that 19. He's out here. Second, night, though. Second main. I'm chilling. Good. Okay. Draw. Stay on my main. Well, yep. it's a little upsetting because you have to be ready for this. Otherwise, you wouldn't just alley open me to be able to summon it. So, we'll get it out of the way. Show me what you got. I got judgment. That'll do it. That'll do it. At the measly 45. cost of 4,500. Yep. Yeah. I will just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'll draw here in a second. There we go. Stand by main. Uh, you're just passing. I guess you're technically not dead on board. This is, what, 43? So, I need an extra 1,000 to kill you. A thousand to kill you. Your book is gone. One D priz down. Oh, uh, we'll go battle. Yep. Let's go nineteen twenty four. I'm gonna take it both. <clears throat> How much was this? Forty three. Uh, forty three. Okay, so I'm at a thousand. Tribute Kai's for game. Oh my god. <laughs> right. I wish. Um, I'll just pass. Go ahead. Draw. It's a little bit iffy of torrential. You didn't have to torrential last turn. I will set and I will pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, let's. I guess try it. Uh, we'll go plague. Sure. We have another tomato. Do that. Uh, let's sink arachnid and plague. Okay. You get this back. Yeah. Uh, we'll go stardust. Sure. Uh, and then we'll drop Doom Dozer. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. And uh, hopefully this cleans it up. Get these guys out of here. Uh, let's go battle. I don't know what the highest attack thing you have is, but we'll go Doom Dozer. Okay. Uh, it is the tomato. Sure. So I will take nothing, and then we'll go tomato effect. Off a of tomato, I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight, and I'm going to use Armageddon Knight's effect. Sure. Okay, we'll dump in Zector Hornet. Sure. Okay. Carry on. Uh, We'll go Knight in. Uh, I'm going to take 500. Yep. Might be another D-Prison here. It is a second D-Prison. Coming in clutch. It is. Uh, thinking. Thinking? Thinking? What do you got? It's fine. Stardust can get out okay, of here. Cool. I realized if I sequence that attack order differently, I would have just won this turn, but I was overthinking it. You're Draw good. for turn. Stand by main. Oh, good. I'm going to normal summon Insector Centipede. Uh, sure. 
I will activate Insector Centipede. I will book it. I will concede. Let's go to game three. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, All right. We got a game, we buddy. Got a we got a game. Got a little bit of a, an infestation on our hands, Alex. Lots of Battle bugs the bugs. around here, man. Battle, Battle the, the bugs. bugs. Unfortunately, I I have a feeling Insect Knight doesn't stack up too well against my man, Insector Dragonfly. I'm hoping that rings through for game three here. Well, it's good enough to beat you last game. So I still don't know what you're on. Are you on, like, Demise with Doom Dozer and Insect Knight? I have, I have no idea, bro. We'll see. I, I'm hoping going second is still the right choice. All right. Let's hope it works out for you. Best of luck, buddy. Best of luck, Duelist. All right, uh, and it's looking good when I get to start with Pot of Greed two games in a row. Yeah, we'll not fair. complain. I was going to say it's only fair, but I haven't seen it yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go to main phase one, and I'm, I'm going to go set one, two, three, and chuck it back. All right, I will draw. Stand by me. All right. All right, I'm going to just start it off, man. I'm just going to normal summon Insector Hopper. He's hopping. He's hopping. Uh, that's fine. That was fine. And he's going to spring into action. 1700 on the face down. Sure. Uh, it's my spider spider. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. He's an insect. That's all you, you need. You were to on him. some text. What is that thing, bro? What is that <laughs> thing? Oh my God. All right, I'm going to set one, two, and I'm going to go for a three. Hopper pass, bro. Your turn. Hopper pass indeed. Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'm just going to set another one and pass. I'll end phase space it. Not bad. It was skill drain. Oh, good hit. I'll take it. Let's give more the coin you. flip. I don't know what that's for. Um, <laughs> let's draw for turn. Stay on my main. I'm just gonna go battle phase, and I'll, I'll try to shoot for another 17. 17's fine. I'll take that. I'll uh, pass. Go ahead. Played a nice slow game over here. Go draw. Stand by main, and I will just set one and throw it back. Draw. I mean, you know the deal. Battle phase. Get in there. It's time is my howling insect. All right. All right, you can get the search off a of howling insect. I got nothing for Appreciate that. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, we will go for... Make it easy. We'll just go for another howling insect. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's um, nice that he gets a special in defense. It does. Uh, I'll go main phase two. I'll add two more sets to the mix, and uh, it's your move again. So much back row. What have I seen at you? Like prisons? I've seen... You've seen a little bit of everything. Everything. I've seen a little bit of everything. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, that's fine. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. Let's go normal gale. My man is normal summoning Gale. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, you gotta have something for my man Gale, Gage. Come on. <laughs> I'm thinking if I do. What the fuck? Yeah, I have a torrential tribute that'll handle it. Torrentialing the board, huh? Uh, sure. That's fine. Gets rid of my howling insect too, which is pretty good for you. Playing like Hopper Pass over here. That was the game plan. Yeah, well, and he went and ruined it. it. So I... <laughs> apparently. Uh, fuck it. Let's see what you got. You, uh, oh, you specialed that. I have no response to that, you. Okay, yeah, I know you will when I attack. I do, I have the deep prison. Yeah, deep prison. Okay, that's fine. We'll just pass in that case. Okay, I will drop. Stand by me. Centipede. Centipede's, uh, looking good to me, buddy. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll equip, though. We'll equip. You are going to equip? Uh, in response to the effect, uh, I'm going to chain layer wire. I'm, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'll Alex, my this spider, card's spider. gotta be shit. Who told you to play this? What the <laughs> hell? What the <laughs> hell? You layer hey. wired me, and you're playing yeah. spider, spider. Yeah. What is this yeah. deck? What do you got? What's your what's your setup? I have no huh? response. That's actually crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Layer wire? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Man, it's not bad. Go figure. Alex is actually reading his cards now. Fuck. Where did where'd you come up with that one? Okay. Um. I mean, my turn's over. Go ahead. So. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I'll draw. <laughs> Uh, standby main. Fortunately, I don't have a ton going on. I wish I had more I'm glad, I'm apply, glad. But I, I was going to say, I'd be doing pretty good if I actually had some big guys to drop, and they're in the deck. I'm just not seeing them. I guess I'll just set one and pass. All there right. go. All right, draw. Oh, it's only fair. It's only... It, it, you your can't pot? even say yeah, anything. It's okay. only fair. It's I can't say fair. anything. I got it twice this round. Yeah, yeah you're good. You're I'll good. draw two, and uh, off the top, I'll drop the tomato in. Sure. Okay, battle fate. Careful, the D prisons. I'm going to just sink it. In there. Go ahead. 14's fine. I'll take okay. it. Uh, I'll just pass. Go ahead. <clears throat> Check. And I will draw. Main one. I'll just set one down and pass. All right. little slower. I like it. I'll draw. Stand by me. Battle. Give me a look. Sure. It's glow up bulb. Oh, the gub. What kind of synchro strat you got here? I mean, they're Earths. They are Earths. You notice. They're Earths. Um, Nothing outside of that. Your turn, Duelist. 
Okay, we'll draw. That's not a bad one. Uh, I'll go main one. Uh, I'm gonna dust this back room. Interesting choice. It's black one ahead. I'm gonna MSC the other one. That's, That's why. Insane. You are so. You're. What the fuck? <laughs> How's this <laughs> stuff happen to me, bro? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna activate glow up bolt. Okay. Not bad. I'm gonna banish the insect knight that I just milled for Aztecapede. Okay. Uh, normal Infernity Beetle. Okay. You've seen this before. I have, yeah. Uh, we're going for the Arachnid. Yeah. I'll take your tomato. Let me read this card again. That is so sad. That's how that works. Okay. Yep. You can take it. It's crazy, isn't it? It's so cool. Uh, take your tomato. Is there anything else I want to do? Um, I mean, Arachnid's kind of chilling. He is chilling. He's doing his thing. You've got a ton of cards in your hand. What are you doing with that bulb? What are you going to do that? It's a level, you got a level six and a one. I, I see a black rose dragon for no value, Alex. Uh, conveniently, you have two darks in your graveyard. So if you get a third one there somehow, then that enables your dark armed. And that's a bit scary. You have four cards that you're just sitting on. Could just be a bunch of reactive stuff too. We'll just get in with the arachnid. Yeah, 24. 24. I'll take it. And that is going to do for me. Go ahead. All right, duelist. Draw. I will normal summon the Insector Dragonfly. Oof. That's a good one. Yep. I'm gonna use the effect to quit. Uh, uh yeah, this is probably gonna get bad. Yeah, you're good. Ladybug from hand onto the dragonfly. Sure. Ladybug effect to boost it by two. It is a five. Trigger dragonfly. Dragonfly to special is A-OK. Okay. I was, dude, I was bracing for impact. I was wondering if you had maybe a stupid friggin' Valor or something tucked away. <laughs> Fair. Okay, we'll go um for the insector centipede from the deck. And then I'll centipede effect. Sure. Okay, we'll pull back the ladybug yet again, and we'll ladybug effect. Mm -hmm. Boost it by two. Sure. And then trigger centipede. Yep. I'll take another centipede off of the centipede. And then uh, anything on res? Another centipede off the centipede. You normaled the dragonfly. Probably could have played this differently now that I'm looking at this this way. Yeah, I should have done this earlier. I'm just realizing it now. I'm going to crow your ladybug. I see. Definitely should have did that earlier. Yeah, I was I was thinking like, okay, yeah, when he's done with all this, I'll just crow it. And then if he does have dad, then he can't drop yeah, it. But I should I have done this yeah, before because yeah, then it would stop routes, you. Because now I have Tiris here. I, I see I see what you were trying to play around dad, but this is like yeah. pretty much GG with Tiris. Well, I could have I could have just gone with the ladybug. And um, uh, by hitting the ladybug before you equipped it with centipede, you would still be able to equip. And if you have another ladybug, it doesn't matter, but then you wouldn't have two yep. fives. So it would have like been the same result without tears essentially. Okay, well, I mean, so I, I was daddy tears on the field here. I'll attack over the gub. That'll get banished, sure. right? Or no, it just, it's once per duel. Um, it just, it's just once per okay, duel. And then this yeah. is at the end of the battle phase. So end of the battle phase tears, we'll pop this. And there goes the erect. And yep. I get back my tomato. Um, end yeah, phase, got to detach one. We'll detach the dragonfly. And uh, oh, here, if things weren't hard enough, go ahead, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's fine. Uh, we'll draw. Oh, that is, that is the best card it could have been. Fantastic. Uh, you've got that, that. You got tears. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. Okay, uh, I'm going to summon centipede. Sure. Equip. Uh, thinking. Oh, that. That, that. That's equipping from hand. <laughs> <laughs> Battle phase. This is ex not exact. It's a little over, right? Because it's 26 and 24. You got it, buddy. Ooh, last card 5K, four. bro. 100 yeah. over. What's this last card here? Five. Another crow? Okay, it was another just another fancy crow. crow, bro. Yeah. Back row was another. What would your was black one. What would your line have been if I crowed the ladybug? If you crowed before? the ladybug the second time, I actually legitimately couldn't do anything with that centipede. He would be a really nasty Shit. level. Yeah. He would be a not good level. And uh, right, because you have to either equip hopper or centipede, yeah. and then you wouldn't be able to get the search either for the second centipede. Yes. So. So I actually yeah. did not have much. Yeah. No, the arachnid could have actually. Yeah, well, okay. The arachnid could what have. What was your game plan with the blow up bomb? How did that thing just end up on the board with no? I needed to mill an insect to summon oh! as tech of peaks. I didn't have any oh, insects. You, you hit it too. You are nasty. I hit it. Okay, yeah. I didn't even I realize I that. I was just like, why did he summon this glow up bulb? So I could have, I could have, did you, was his dad? Or no, no, that's Giggle Weevil. Have it. It's a useless Giggle Weevil. Oh, Giggle Weevil. Okay. Yeah. So I was, so the other part of it too, I was thinking was, okay, I could sink the bulb and the uh, arachnid for, uh, what's it called? For Urbellum. Because you had four yeah. cards in hand. 100% so win rate, that, right? And then that, 100% <laughs> win rate, yeah. And so I was thinking if I do that, it resets you a draw. Um, but the problem is it put three darks in grave because then the tomato would fall off the arachnid. And then you, if you did have dad, then I was just cooked. Uh, so... I was thinking that that was probably not the way to do it. Um, and just leaving like Arachnid up because Arachnid is just kind of hard for you to deal with. And yeah, no, I just, I lost because I just missed the, the ladybug line. I was just thinking like, oh yeah, I'll just crow after and then I'll be fine. Not even thinking about the fact that, um, you know, you can just summon Tyrus or Adrius that way. And you needed the levels to get there too. 
I was just I was tunneled on thinking something else. So the tunnel and progression tunnel, series hey, strikes hey, again. Hey, hey. <laughs> Returning for season two. Why wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. How was um, your Galactic but, Overlord guys, opening? Wasn't anything good? No, I pulled like one or two hollows in the I, whole set. So that should tell you how bad too. it was. I did get Papal Operative, which was like the only good thing yep. that matters, yep. honestly. Uh, that's my first rank Let's four, go. by the way. Uh, finally. Yeah. Took this long. Not even a bad one either. Like, um, surprisingly, Papal Operative is not even that bad. Yeah, she's pretty good. There's a lot of cool stuff that Papal Operative can do. But uh, that was it. I, I pulled, I think, the some Insector Ultra Rare cards. So if you want it, you, know, you can have it. <laughs> but that that was it. I, I got some Hieratic Commons and Rares, but nothing that was, like, too notable. Yeah, I didn't what about you? impressive either. Fun to read. Like, there's some cards like a Tum and, like, Big Eye and, sure. like, Lucky Straight that ended up being cool later on down the line. But, like, like, uh, like we said, really mediocre set on release. Didn't do too much then. But um, maybe we'll see some highlights from it moving forward. Like, when we get the Dragon Wars, coming soon, you know? That's true. Very true. Very true. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the funniest part about this is uh, this is a Verdant Sanctuary. No, the deck, best field spell I took name. Verdant Sanctuary out because you're playing in Zectors. Yeah. And if you didn't know this, Verdant Sanctuary is reciprocal. No, I didn't know that, Alex. I know everything about that Verdant yeah. Sanctuary card. Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, all right, this is uh, not going to play out well. And I was thinking, like, you might play Insectors. I was thinking about playing this, like, macro deck. But I, I, people were going to probably just have my head on a stake if I played a macro deck. Because that would have been, like, the most boring gameplay imaginable. So what, what's the uh, whole this thing deck, with this I feel deck? Like, is, it, is, it, do, is it Demise? Or it's what? Just, <laughs> no, no. It's, so the whole deck is just, like, Insect... It's in, I was going to say Insector. It's, like, Insect Control, okay. essentially, is, like, what this is. So, like, Underground Arachnid. This is actually, like, a super and ultra I from remember, whatever yes. set it came from. I actually pulled one of these. Yeah, and so this is kind of, like, one of the best cards, like, about this whole strategy, which is why you play it, just because it's, again, it's relinquished. You just take stuff. It negates just, like, any effects, like, from stuff getting sent to the grave, like, from field, like, tomato and things like that. And it's just annoying, because with D-Prison in the format and all this stuff, yeah, this thing's just I, sticky. I mean, and it just, uh, game two, around. I had two D-Prison sets. And you had Underground Arachnid. Yeah. I'm like, he's chilling. He's chilling. Yeah. And so what you can do is, and I don't have Verdant Sanctuary to really show this off, but uh, so with Flying Kamakiri number one, let's say you have the Centipede up, okay? If I have Verdant Sanctuary, I can crash Kamakiri and go through all of them and summon, or rather search three copies of Aztecapede. I can end on a card that I cited out because I can't do this without Verdant Sanctuary. It's, uh, it's a guy that, it's basically Cyber Valley for insects. You can summon an Aztecapede, sack them both off, draw two cards. So you're way up on cards at that point because you searched a billion card? from Burden Sanctuary. Uh, it's it's like B something. Thanks, man. I don't that know. It's, it it's, down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it like B-Tron? Um, and then B -tron? you have double... A no, no, it's it's a it's a no. I'll okay. show. I'll tell you later. I don't remember because I cited it out. Um, so then you have double S Techapede like for follow up as well as like setting up for Doom Dozer and different things like that. And so you just have like all these neat things that you can do. That your cards are like all sticky. You get to play stuff like Layer Wire, which is Where actually just like a decent card. What in set is that? Even? I've never seen that card in my. This life. This is like Crossroads of Chaos or um maybe Crimson Crisis. I think. Yeah, it's an old card. You can tell it's it doesn't have PSCT. That's how you, how you it's know. It's not it's even old. bad. It's not um, even bad. It's a good card. No. It's it's not. Yeah, so you just play it with a bunch of other decent stuff. These insect knights are supposed to be Kwaki Meru beetles, uh, which if you've never read that before, it's just a 1900 uh, insect four that uh, if you summon a lighter dark monster, it gets shifted to defense What's position. What's defense stat? Uh, which is kind of sick. Oh, no, no, no. Your monster oh, gets shifted to defense okay, okay. Not Yeah, and every single time. It's not once per turn either. Uh, so it's like another control tool in that regard. I didn't pull any. That was like an ultra from uh, whatever the Kwaki Meru stuff came in. So I, I, I insect knight's like basically the next best thing you can play. And then you just play a bunch of other just like decent uh just good stuff cards to basically back up the fact that the insects have a lot of like uh just uh you can just go through a lot of different things with them and so that that's really all the deck is it's nothing like insane but it's it was cool that we got to see yeah. underground arachnids also like kind of a beast yeah. of a card for me it was just so. insector ladybug in this set was uh it's the the yeah, second I, I think the second card that you can actually just send itself to trigger insectors and it's a common i was like it's pretty much a no-brainer i have to bring this thing back again because the deck i thought was so strong the first time we played it um and man and building it again just for the second time here, especially with a card like Call of the Haunted at three, Torrential Tribute at two. Yeah. Man, it feels like a beast of a strategy. It feels really, really strong. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You're probably wondering about always, my wheel, too. I've been. Uh... The wheel. What do we got? You can rest easy. I got a super okay. rare wild card. I think I picked up like an extra Gallus or something that I, I, cause we had so many play sets of everything from raw yellow that I, that was the only card I could find that I didn't have. I'm shocked. I'm shocked of, you didn't find so. anything else juicy. Like, you got all the Thunder Kings out of the way and everything. Don't need any of those. I have the Thunder Kings. I have everything else. Everything else is covered. What are we looking so. at next? What's yeah. next week? Uh, Battle, Pack. Battle Pack. I told you. One. Battle Pack Epic Dawn. That's going to be an exciting episode. There's a lot of good stuff in there and I, I'll be uh, letting the fans know all about it next week. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I hope you all enjoyed 
enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT MBTPlayMadolce, Moto Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Little Fade Leaf, Chris Hood, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Dalton, Inuno Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Simos Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Player Soon, Corvain, Grey9, and Micah Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.